Hello, I'm back for an update. I know I've been gone a while. I just needed some time to settle down, mellow out, and decide what I wanted to do next. Um, to recap, I did the GNRH. That didn't work. Then my doc, my doctor here put me on Manipure. I did that for two weeks. Didn't work. So he decided to do a test. For an AMH, and it AMH is what shows how many follicles you have left of your lifetime. And when he did it, it was less than 0.6, which is pretty much nothing. There's no eggs left, as as if miraculously they all disappeared between May and and June. Don't know why. It's my crazy body telling me that it was just not meant to be used my eggs. So off I go trying to decide what I want to do. I talked to my doctor and he has a sh something called the shared uh, donor program where I could have you know shared it with somebody else, someone's eggs with somebody else and then if there's 12, 10 or more eggs, then it's split up between the two people. But if there's less than 10 eggs, the person, the original person who signed up first gets all the eggs and the person who didn't get it, that, that signed up second, is out the money and has to start all over. And it kind of freaked me out. I'm like, if I'm the second person, do I really want to be the one stuck having to repay everything? Especially when their fees are around $12,000 just for that. That's not including the IVF cycle for me and doing the, you know, the eggs and the sperm and putting them together and doing all that with the embryologist. That's not including any of that. It's just including... The $12,000 was including just for that. Which, I don't know, kind of makes me nervous. I don't like doing stuff like that without really researching them different things. And I came up with a backup plan. I actually liked it. It sounds exciting. And, you know me, I'm, I'm up for, for a challenge. I've always been up for a challenge and trying new things. Well, this new thing is really going to be fun. I have some friends that are be going, so I was I heard them talk about it, so I went and looked it up myself and decided to do egg donation and sperm donation in the Czech Republic. Wow. It's like way over on the other side of the world for us. The time time zone is totally crazy, but the time zone works with my work schedule. <laughs> so when I try to go to sleep and wake up, I already know. That's the cool thing about it. Like when I get up in the morning at 1 o'clock in the morning, it's 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock in the morning by the time I get up in the morning. I kind of play with my little phone and put it in there. Anyway, back to the stuff. I. I have to go through and do a mock cycle, which I'm doing now. I'm on cycle day nine. I go in for an ultrasound and blood work tomorrow to see if the meds are working. I've started on two estrace by mouth and one vaginally. Oof. I know that's rough. It's not easy, but... In order for me to do this, I gotta do it. I started off on a low dose. I go in tomorrow for the blood work and ultrasound. Then I have to go back and give them the results of the ultrasound to the clinic in in Prague. That's where I'm going in the Czech Republic. It's Prague, and that way they'll know that we're gonna be adjusting my medications again to, to up it some more because I already know it's gonna be low. It's not gonna be that high, but. 
I, um, as far as my, me concerned, as far as my condition and everything else, I'm going to be working with my local RE. He said he'd be fine with it, so, which is good. So I get to work with him. He's going to do the, the ultrasounds and blood work. They don't really require blood work, but for me, I need blood work because of my condition and everything. So I'm going to be doing the blood work anyway, regardless of what they say in Prague, but I, the coordinator knows, so everything is okay. So I talked to the coordinator, told her that about my, you know, my condition is a little bit different than most people. They can't just put me on four, uh, four, four estradiols a day and leave it there and expect me to have results because I don't even know if it's going to be results from that because I don't, I don't normally do all that. I don't have any hormones to begin with, so I had to tweak it, you know, I, they, I'm going to have to tweak it and, and, and go from there, which is fine. They tell me that just go with the, what the doctor here says, and if I have to go with the longer cycle than most, then I'll go with the longer cycle than most. So, I will be going to Prague. It's called the Prague Fertility Center. It's what the name of the clinic is. And they will be going to... I. I've already got it set a date. I got a date already set. I've got my passport. I went to the to the pass to the county seat and got a passport, see, just to get one, just in case you know, just in case I'm really gonna need it, which I wasn't. I was still thinking about it before, but anyway, I did get the passport. It came in the mail. Thank goodness it it did because I am gonna be going there in October the week between October 17th and the October 22nd will be somewhere in that week I'm going to be having a transfer which is pretty cool they have all different they have their their different protocols and, and, and guarantees and everything which is good for me so if it doesn't work the first time I try in it I can try again on the third try, if it doesn't work on the second two tries, then I can get the third try for free. So, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I can't wait. I'm going to do another video and explain everything about the whole Prague thing. I was just wanted to recap and give you an idea as to what was going on with me. I'm still here. Still chugging along. I'm never going to give up. Never. I, I can't give up. Just because one thing doesn't work. And another thing doesn't work, and then another thing doesn't work. I'm still here, gonna try something else because I'm always the go-getter, and I'm never. I, I'm one of those kind of people that just keeps going and going and going and going until I've exhausted every avenue before giving up. So that's my shtick. I'm going to be giving you another video about everything else. Bye-bye!